Good afternoon, uh, everyone. It is pleasure to have the esteemed professionals from media here today, the two from Chennai. And it is greatly appreciated. I want to extend a special thank to you and Bahrain ED EDBT for their ongoing support and interest in Polymer. We are thrilled to announce that Polymatech Electronics is making an investment of $16.2 million in Bahrain as a first phase and it is a part of our $100 million total investment envisaged by 2027. This $16.2 million investment will be done in calendar year 2024 and 2025. Our decision to invest in Bahrain is a strategic decision so that the entire MENA country's requirement is fulfilled through Bahrain. Our main focus is food security and medical electronics. Food security, as you know, after COVID, every country wants to become self-sufficient in food. And MENA countries are importing food from various countries and as estimated by 2030, it will be little less than $1 trillion. And Polymatex innovative technologies will produce and support to reduce the imports of the food from these Middle East countries and also it will be almost organic food everyone can have in Middle East. That is why we are going there. And also our latest technologies on medical electronics like uh, wind finders for very support to do surgeries and finding anything we will be producing from Bahrain plant. And we have already taken 25,000 square feet of lab facility on lease. And we will be constructing about 100,000 square feet of facility very shortly and we start our own factory by 2026 onwards. <coughs> when we have approached government of Bahrain, they have invited us with open arms and each and every step, at every step, they have supported us. I actually thought whether they are working for Bahrain EDB or they are working for Polymatic. Sometimes I felt it that way. That is how the support, ease of doing business, what we call in India, the way what I have felt in Tamil Nadu governments invest in Tamil Nadu, same experience I have got from Bahrain government also. That is the main reason to commit our further investments of 100 million dollars after the initial 16.2 million dollars. Thank you and I hand over this uh, floor to Her Excellency. Thank you sir, thank you. Uh, good afternoon everyone and Vanakam. Um, we're definitely thrilled to be here today and thrilled to be partnering and sitting next to Polymatic. And of course, I want to extend my warmest greetings for me and my team, actually, to you, sir, and to the whole team, and for you also, media, for taking the time to come and see us and for us to share this news and talk more about this partnership. 
Um, so just a quick introduction for myself. So my name is Noor Lakhleef. I'm the Minister for Sustainable Development in Bahrain. And I'm also honoured to be the Chief Executive of Bahrain's Economic Development Board, which is Bahrain's Investment Promotion Agency. This is actually my first visit to India, uh, but definitely not the first for the EDB. The team has been coming back and forth for, for many, many, many years. The most recent one was going to be last year, and we're already talking about the next trip that we will make in, in the short term. And this trip definitely and this partnership builds on a rich history of commerce and trade dating back over 5,000 years if we look at that between Bahrain and India. And definitely every time we come, what we try to do is foster even stronger commitments and partnerships when it comes to commercial and, and the investment and the retail. And this multi-city visit definitely aims to build more on those connections. So this visit saw us so far visiting three cities. We were in Mumbai first, then we moved to Bangalore, and now we're very happy to be in Chennai. So when we look at Bahrain, out of the 650,000 expatriates, approximately 350,000 are Indians, and the largest, and which makes it the largest expatriate community in Bahrain. Amongst them, about 50,000 of the community are from Tamil Nadu. We're proud to be partnering with Polymatic, which is a leading Chennai-based semiconductor manufacturing firm, which further strengthens this relationship as we talked about. We're seeing industries worldwide move towards or shift towards automation and digital transformation. We've been talking about this. And definitely semiconductors have been indispensable to ensure that that technology transformation is seamless. There are definitely semiconductors are the foundation for the day um, digital economies and they play a critical role in technologies like the smartphones, electric vehicles, the 5G16 structure and advanced manufacturing. All of this is very, very important for Bahrain, being a country of first when it comes to digitization. So Bahrain, for many years now, have been championing, championing digitization, starting with the government, which has been um, digitizing and automating its, its processes and its services. And we see that as well across the, the various sectors, including financial services and manufacturing. So investments like Polymatic, uh, setting up a semiconductor facility, highlights Bahrain's entry to the global semiconductor market. So we thank you very much for that, for the trust that you put in Bahrain. And definitely is aligned with Bahrain's ambition to become a key player within the GCC region. It's definitely a pivotal milestone in our journey of digital transformation and is set to usher a new era of innovation and technology advancements across the sectors and across the region. We're confident that the Bahrain facility will play a critical role in producing the essential ingredients for either the world's development or just the region. On both the country um, and a business level, the bond between the nations is one of mutual respect and shared opportunities for growth, and we look forward to discussing more of that. But just to end, um, sir, I just wanted to thank you for your kind words. I wanted to thank you for um, what you said about the team. This is definitely our job. Uh, this is what we do at the Economic Development Board. Our job and our role is to ensure that we reflect the ease of doing business that Bahrain is known for. And our job to make sure that the businesses that choose to come and set up and trust Bahrain system really get the top-notch uh, experience. So thank you very much and look forward to, to